Okay, so what is this voice registration that everybody keeps talking about? Why do I keep getting phone calls in my business saying, your business isn't registered, my business is registered for Google, it isn't registered for voice search? What is the big deal? And why is it so important for my business to, to be found for business search? Let's talk about that a little bit. My name is Dean Kaler. I am a co-founder of Simply Be Found, and I wanna share with you some information to help protect you a little bit from these phone call people, these, uh, what I, I call them, let's call it what it is. I think a lot of them are scams. Not everybody's a scam, but you need to make sure that you protect your business, protect your profile, so that you don't get yourself in trouble with the search networks that are out there. So let's talk about it. First thing is, they're gonna tell you that they're gonna just do a one-time registration for you, and they're gonna get you put on all the different uh, networks that are out there. That's great that they do that. It doesn't help your business. It's gonna be, it's gonna get you registered, but it doesn't help, especially if you're in some of the larger metro areas. It's not going to improve the ranking on that voice search. You have to make sure that you're doing activities and you're putting information out there. They tell you that you have unlimited uh, additions or changes you can make. The problem is, is are they telling the story for your business the way they need to be? So, so ask those questions. Make sure it's not just a one-time registration. If you're talking to them, get everything in writing. Uh, uh, if, if, if they say they're going to do this, if they're going to say, you know, make sure that everything they say they're going to do for you, they do. They, the big thing about the uh, unlimited uh, additions to that is that they'll say, you call up and you tell us when you want to make a change. The problem is, is I, as a business owner, am too busy to remember all those things that have to happen. So I will probably forget to do that. So it's not going to really help me on that information. The other question you need to make sure of is make sure that they're not creating duplicate accounts of your business. Uh, the first question you what might they you ask them is do I give you uh, access to my business profiles that, so you can add on my behalf and then a lot of times they're gonna say oh no we don't need that we're just gonna create you another account there's been a lot of changes out there with the networks like Google has really been in the forefront of this and they're, they're saying you cannot have multiple listings of the same business you can't be in all these different locations you can't have two or three listings of that same business that's in violation of their policies it's going to get you in it, it's going to get you hurt with your rankings and flat out banned and if that happens it takes a lot of effort on your part to get yourself unbanned and trust me you don't want to do that because these networks are designed for small businesses to help you get found out there so that you when that when that search happens or that voice search happens you are ranking up there in the top you don't want to be banned from that because somebody has created multiple listings for you somewhere along the line again make sure you get in writing make sure they're doing the things they're going to do tell your story the way you want it simply be found has tools that we help you to get found out there and and get found on these networks without giving up control to anybody else. You stay in control. You put the information out there. It's really simple. We feed to these networks on a on a regular basis to help rank you once you once you get all the information put in. So give us a try. Simplybefound.com.